What if we thought about the gateway instead of the final destination? And how, how would that be different? Like what, what would be different about that, about our expectations or how we felt about training every day or how we felt about health and fitness and how we felt when we looked in the mirror? If this is the first time hopping on one of my videos, my name is Karen and thank you so much for being here. Train, say, for your first 10K and or your first five kilometer run or walk and, and you know you've done all the training to get there and you're just super proud of the fact that you made it there and there's no expectations. Uh, for time or anything, chances are it's going to be the best run ever. I know my first half marathon was, and my first 10K were the best ever. I felt the best. I did the best. And then after that, I had these expectations that I was supposed to do better every time. So that brings me into a place of where, you know, when we arrive and we've decided that it's now is my time. Now's the time I'm going to really pay attention to myself and my health and my fitness. And we feel so proud that we've made that change. We feel so proud that we've made that decision and we've arrived at the gateway. And because maybe it's somewhere that we haven't been before, I mean, myself, I can speak for myself, when I arrived at that gateway, it was kind of accidental. I, I didn't believe I could. I, I didn't even know that I could. It was accidental because my life changed. I had to eat more healthfully and my job changed. I was suddenly put into a job where I was running up and down stairs um, over and over and over again. I worked at Sears in the shoe department and uh, it was always busy there, especially around um, back to school and Christmas and stuff. And that's at the time when I started to lose weight because I was going up and down the stairs. It simultaneously happened with the time after my gallbladder was moved and I had to learn how to eat more healthfully. And within about three months, I lost 20 pounds. And I thought, oh, wow, look at that. Maybe I wasn't meant to be having my whole entire life. And, and I had no expectations. And it just kept coming off. And it just felt so easy. And I say that because later on in life, after I had experienced what it felt like to lose weight, and after I had experienced what it felt like to get stronger and to, and, and to do those things and, and to arrive at my first race and, and do really great and then arrive to my second one and have different expectations, it changed. So it was no longer the gateway experience. It was, it was then the, the thought of, I have to do better. I have to do better than I did before. But then you come to these situations where for whatever reason, perhaps your body's detrained a little bit or there's been a break or there's been an injury and you arrive at that gateway with these expectations in your head that you're gonna do better than the last time, but your body sometimes is not in that same state of mind. So what happens then is, is that we tend to start to beat ourselves up. Returning Olympian, there's this expectation that they're gonna do better. And a lot of times it's the ones that have arrived at the gateway that do better both mentally and physically because it's their first time. So my point is, when you arrive at the gateway, just focus on the beginning, no matter what it has been in the past. Because, you know, if you're anything like me and billions of other people, you won't stay at that ideal spot, at that perfect spot, at that gateway vision, at your peak performance, at your peak time, at your peak physique, that won't be always with you. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. And showing up at that gate and doing your best today 
That's what it's all about. And that's what I encourage you to do.